Hello everyone, welcome to this pre-season periodization uh, webinar. Um, the webinar today, uh, I will discuss uh, several topics, uh, the 11 topics that you see now uh, on your screen. And these 11 topics are separated in, uh, in two blocks. Uh, the first block of six topics will be more, let's say, philosophical. I will discuss all kinds of principles of periodization uh, in the context of, uh, of pre-season. And then the second part of uh, this presentation, the last five topics, will be uh, explained in the context of, in this case, uh, the pre-season of uh, Manchester United. So that will be more a presentation in terms of application. So like I said, the, the, the first part will be uh, philosophical. And when you talk about philosophy, uh, it means that it has to be conceptual. Uh, it has to be universal, so not Dutch or, or German or Brazilian. It has to be universal for everybody. Um, philosophical means that it has to be factual without gray areas. And finally, it also has to be objective. So not based on opinions or, or past experiences, but objective. Uh, as it is. Once you have developed philosophical principles, you can apply those principles in practice. And once you start to apply these principles, finally you have to take the external factors into account. And as we all know, the external factors in one club are always different compared to another club. And therefore, the same philosophical principles can be applied in different ways at different clubs based on different external factors. And the Manchester United case study that I will discuss in the second part of the webinar will be a perfect example of this subjective application. OK, let's start with, with the first part. And uh, when I discuss these topics, what I will always do is that after I finalize the topic, I will give you a short, let's say, 30-second break to write down your notes, to recap uh, before I continue uh, with the next topic. The first topic is about the benefits of pre-season periodization for the coach and also the head coach. And because before we start to go into more detail, from a more broader perspective, it must be clear what the benefits are. Well, obviously, every coach wants to win as many games as possible in, uh, in the season. And if you want to win as many games as possible, you have to train and play with your strongest team uh, as often as possible. This is very clear, but recently Professor Jan Ekstrand from uh, UEFA has shown that head coaches and the technical staff are the main reason for injuries. 